Yeah. Mate, is that is that a canoe over there? Right. Just just past Anne. Anne, have a look. Yeah. Anne, are they coming towards us? Yeah. Ben. Yes, mate. Give me two cups and serve me up two tot of rums. Okay. Yeah. I know what you mean. Like the oldest format of like winning a stranger over and giving him a drink, ain't it? So we are here. We want to stay here for maybe three days. We have lack of water. If you guys can help us, that would be great. Luckily, Ant's crew don't need to worry. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, are you most welcome? Captain Anthony. Ricky. 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 Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. The welcoming party guides them through the reef to shore. Oh, mate, I'm getting excited. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's mate, my mouth is just exploding right now. People are falling apart. Luck of the five able seamen at the moment. This is what William Bly and his men would have faced. They would have gone down with all these diseases, injuries. That's exactly what we've got. Chris, you're on, bro. Meant to be on watch. Ah, Chris. So upsetting. With empty stomachs and sore limbs, crew patience is wearing thin. Chris, stick your, your jumper and your shirt away. I'm not sit on it. When you get your clothes soaking wet, or when they go overboard and you've got nothing... I've just been doing all that, that's why. This is an order. Put your jumper and your T-shirt away. Use your jacket to sit on. Put your T-shirt and your jumper away now. I am. Yeah. Take it, you don't want it then. No. No, no I don't want it. Oh, away. Away. You will thank me, mate. As dawn breaks, the boat is safely through the reefs. But instead of joining Ant on watch, Chris is sleeping in. Now it's raging inside. People were told at the beginning of the watch to stay switched on and to stay alert through the reef to make sure that we don't run aground and uh, I shouldn't have to ask twice. But I've had enough of it now. That's it. Final straw that was. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say or do anything this boat anymore. Can't sniff. You can't get any sleep. It's talk utter fucking bullshit. Crew need to find clean drinking water urgently. It's not looking good, so we'll be prioritising getting water. How are we looking, comrade? Where are we heading? Turtle Head, Albany. It's probably our best chance. Look at these mangroves. You know what that means, though? Rocks. Rocks. Guys, there's things there that want to get us. We've got sharks. We've got crocodiles. On the island, there's snakes, there's spiders, there's scorpions. Are listening, gents? Water priority. OK, I know you're hanging, but this is where it counts. They haven't drunk any fresh water for over 24 hours. Nothing will kill us faster than lack of water. There's something there. Come right! Yeah, down here. Guys, we've got water here. Oh, <laughs> mate! It tastes pretty good, it's rainwater. Is everyone OK? Yeah, all good. It's 7 a.m. The men have made it safely through the reef system and survived their first major Pacific storm. Everybody knows here that this is real, that this isn't a game. That storm we got caught in was a matter of life or death, and they know it now. Rain is like water torture. But this is enough to break anyone. You must drink. Water is now not to be rationed. You are all horrendously dehydrated. Potentials can be catastrophic. 
they are still 300 miles from land, so the medical team are insisting they accept fresh water from the safety boat. We will be breaking into our emergency water. Don't feel that we've cheated or anything, we haven't. This water is, if we don't drink it, we're, we're gonna die, basically, you know. We're on the verge of serious, serious, serious health issues. My wife is pregnant. I've been at all my child's births, and I would love to be at this child's birth. It's very important for me that I get back. The dolphins have come, guys. It's been an honour and a privilege. Thank you so much. And I don't think anyone said this yet, but on behalf of the crew, it's been an absolute honour. And you've been absolutely unbelievable this trip. And uh, we fucking love you, mate. We absolutely love you. I love so each and you. every one of you, and you don't need to thank me. Without you, I couldn't have done this, guys. You always have your doubts. You're always scared of failure. You know, you're always scared to, once you've earned the respect of the men, to, you know, that you're going to lose it within a moment. And I didn't want them to think that there was ever a problem or that I was ever in a situation where I was unsure of my decisions, which I was most of the time. <laughs>